guys so you're gonna have to like really forgive me because I don't have my contacts in and with this video I can't necessarily wear glasses so I'm kind of blind yeah so bear with me if stuff is not in focus or I'm I can I can see that I'm in frame so yeah um Hopefully this video doesn't turn out too bad. Um, I didn't put my contacts in because I'm trying to get my eyes to rest. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys my hair before I get started with the actual concealer video. That's why I left it down. Um, this is crochet braids that I'm wearing right now. And I really like them. I think this is like the Grace hair or something. It's just regular braiding hair. And I like it because it kind of looks sort of kind of like a twist out or a braid out or something like that. And I have it in number four, which is this dark brown color here. And then I think I think this reddish color is like a 33. It's very big. I think actually it's kind of toned down a little bit. It was a lot bigger than it was. And I've had it for about two weeks. And I cut the front a little bit. I am not good at layering or anything like that. But I cut the front a little bit. And it's pretty long. If I bring it all and scoop back. Move that mirror. It's pretty long. Like it comes like to my boobs. I don't know if you can see. But yeah. I left it down just to show you that. And um, that's it. Okay. So let's get to the concealer. This isn't necessarily a foundation routine. Because... I pretty much used to do my foundation the same way. I just changed concealers. I know I didn't do a video for W Wednesday. That's because I was really sick and I'm still kind of sick now, getting over a cold and sinus problems and stuff like that. But I always make sure I do a post on my blog. So I always check there on Wednesdays. If a video isn't loaded up, make sure that you go check my blog because I always have a post. And this past Wednesday was, I talked about the um, Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer from NYX. And in the color orange and I heard people talk about this I had a couple people give me recommendations and say to try this concealer so when I saw it where when I was in Atlanta I went to a beauty supply store down there the hall I'm not sure if I did a video on it or I did a blog post but when I saw it in a beauty supply store I decided to go ahead and snatch it up because I haven't seen it here and I've really been loving it. So I wanted to show how to use it because I had a person come in and say that they, you know, really didn't know how to use it or it was like scary to them. So I just wanted to show how I use it, show that it's not really scary and that it actually does give like a highlighting effect. So one thing I talked about in my blog post is that I don't like that it's in a tub because I kind of have to scrape it out with my fingers. Since I am going out, I, I am going to do like my full foundation routine. So that includes my Milk and Magnesia. I don't know if y'all have seen my um, foundation routine video or not. But if you haven't, I put Milk and Magnesia on my face just to help with the oil. And I use the Equate version. You don't necessarily have to use the name brand. I have this big monstrosity on my face. Like, it's huge and so annoying but yeah I just put it on my t-zone and put my cheeks are cheeks considered t-zone I'm pretty sure they are but yeah just rub it in like that um then I put my primer on and if it's not in focus I'm sorry I told you I'm blind but this is the Corez Mattifying Primer and my holy grail love it so and then I just dab that on my face. I do though want to try the Make Forever primer. I really want to try that. So the the matte velvet primer. But it's sold out on Sephora's website. And last time I was in Sephora, I don't remember seeing it. So hmm, is it hard to get? I don't know if it's always available or what. Now that I've got my face primed and ready, it's time for me to put my concealer on. I don't necessarily use a brush with it. I guess you could. I will for this video, I guess. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And, yeah. 
if you want to this is a really creamy concealer and if you want to you can take like your eyeshadow primer or something like that and dab a little bit underneath your eyes to help with the creasing that it, it can cause I find that when I do that it makes my under eye look really dry like my Urban, Urban Decay primer maybe it's too I don't know too good at what it does because it makes my under eyes really really dry so I don't like to use that method so uh, yeah if it works for you do that I'm not using a liquid foundation so if I was I would put it on after I put my liquid foundation on I would put a concealer on after I put my liquid foundation on but I'm not yes it goes on <laughs> very pumpkin orange I, it really does but you can blend it out and when you put your powder and stuff over it it doesn't like it's not as bad and I kind of bring it up so <clears throat> I feel like I'm doing like a Halloween thing a Halloween um, face I don't know what I would be with this orange on here besides a pumpkin by the way Halloween well Halloween is kind of coming up what are y'all gonna be I was looking yesterday at um, Halloween costumes I do dress up for Halloween love Halloween so what are y'all gonna be and I all I'm doing is just patting it in that kind of look up so I don't have creases under my eye and see when you blend it out with your fingers and actually let the it warm up and stuff it kind of blends out pretty well like it's nowhere near as harsh as it is in here when you blend it out so I'm gonna do just one side just so y'all can see the difference in my face not necessarily sure how this is gonna work out but we're gonna see but I just do just like a moon shape under my eye and I keep pressing until I see how I want it you can kind of see it's kind of highlighting I look crazy I know but I like it I don't have a translucent powder which probably would help better with the color keep the color but I just set it with my foundation powder this is what I do and I'm using the real techniques brush and this is the contour brush but I find that this little point I just washed it so it hasn't like reshaped very well that little point kind of helps like get right up into my eye and do what I need to do so face powder I'm going to use lately I went back to my studio fix I don't know if you remember from my first 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 foundation video I was using studio fix powder and this is what I'm using again I just found that it works well it holds my oils well just all around great product and I'm an NW45 if you need reference so one thing I could do actually what I think I'm going to do is use the little powder puff that comes with it and like press it in because when you press it in when you press your foundation in I find that it helps better so just press it in and that way it lasts longer and you don't get as many creases just make sure you look up because you're feeling where you're pressing so you don't necessarily have to see so yeah so you can already tell the difference this is the con contoured this is the concealed side and the unconcealed side I'm just dropping stuff everywhere and you can see how you can't really see my dark circles which is great and this is a full coverage concealer like it says it does exactly what it says it does so yeah um, I really really like this concealer I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now okay my eyes well underneath my eyes are done and now all I'm gonna do is just dust this powder over my face now I could use um, my other concealer that I don't know where it is ever since I've been using that concealer I haven't been using my Ruby Kisses one or my sheer cover one so I'm just going to dust this powder all over my face and I'm going to use my handy dandy powder brush from elf that I freaking love it's amazing and I know it's going to look a little ashy because I don't know like I don't know if I've gotten darker or what because this is the color I always use but I think because I don't know I don't know why but 
after a while, when it mixes with my body chemistry or whatever, it starts to look more like me. Now if you want, you can go right here and like blend out the edges a little bit with the brush. And that way it kind of goes seamlessly into your powder. So it's not like highlighted and then, okay, whatever. You know, so you can do that. I just take the powder and go all the way around. That's a max bus. Do y'all have max buses in your city? Public bus, whatever. I don't know what it's called in your city. I'm not necessarily sure if max is universal. Yeah. But, yeah. That's all I do. I just go around. And once my body chemistry mixes with it, it'll be a little bit more my color. It's kind of my color now. So, yeah. I don't know. I just get so paranoid about wearing the wrong color foundation for whatever reason. Like, sometimes when I put stuff on, I'll be like, oh my God, is this too light for me? This is how it looks. Let me bring you a little bit closer. Nope, don't go back. Let's bring you a little closer. Okay, so this is my face. I really can't tell how I look right now because I'm blind. I'm not gonna put my glasses on because that'll like glare and stuff. But let's bring you a little bit. I cannot get this. Okay, bring you a little closer and let you look underneath. Just, yeah, so. This is how I've been doing my face lately with this concealer. It's really not hard. It's really not as scary as you think. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Again, this is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in orange. I will link a um, link to my blog post for W Wednesday and also to where you can get it from. That's how I do my foundation and concealer now with that new product that I love so much. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.